Everyone loves a fish story, right? Well, the plight of the Pacific salmon has already been told in so many ways. The warming water, the droughts, the dams, ultimately all of it leading to the declining population. Outdoor journalist Chris Milgate knew that, which is why she set out to tell the tale of the Chinook salmon, as she says, differently in a brand new documentary. What is it about this story that no one else is paying attention to that they probably should? That's the question that hit Chris Milgate in 2016 when she saw her first salmon in Idaho's Yankee Fork. It was the first time I'd seen a Chinook and I thought to myself, oh, it's a swimming corpse and it looks terrible. What on earth does this fish go through to get back to Idaho? And wouldn't it be cool to show everyone what it looks like? Hi, I'm Chris Milgate and I'm your field guide. As Those questions spawned this project. We're following the migration route of threatened and endangered salmon and it's a doozy of a road trip. 850 miles one way. Chris called it ocean to Idaho. I want to show everybody every mile of the river route for salmon and what salmon mean to everyone who lives and works along that route. So for more than three months through the pandemic summer of 2020, Chris spoke with 17 people. You can't really grow up in the Northwest without salmon as your icon. She shot 25 hours of video followed fish for 80 miles by raft and put more than 4,600 miles on her camper truck, all by herself. Ocean to Idaho is about conservation of a species that is disappearing, no doubt about it. The fact that a fish leaves Idaho and it's the size of your finger, goes to the ocean and grows, and then comes back to Idaho when it's longer than your whole arm, that is fascinating. And the fact that a fish is built to swim 850 miles to make it back to where it was born, lay eggs, then die, turning its crib into its grave. That's remarkable. That 850 mile route looks a lot different now than a century ago. Salmon that swim from the ocean to Idaho go through eight major dams to make it back home. No matter how many ladders you put in and how many things you do to try to help salmon, it's still a contentious point because salmon aren't making it back. Historically, 3,000 made it to the Yankee Fork. In 2020, when I followed them home, 37 Chinook salmon is all that made it. So that's significant decline. It's easy to point fingers in every direction and say, well, take the dams out. Well, that's easier said than done. It's a very complicated issue to say, are fish worth so much that we're willing to take down dams? You have to realize what's at stake when we do that. But you also have to realize what's at stake if we leave them in. As a journalist, as a filmmaker, what did you take away from this? Never give up. Never give up on the wild. Never give up on yourself. I had busted cameras by mile 200. I had bruises by mile 500, stitches in four places by mile 800. It's a humbling experience to witness something that impressive. It's also <laughs> humbling to show up at the finish line with stitches in four places and a camera held together with duct tape. I can't imagine you expect to solve all the problems, answer all the questions. What do you want people to take away from this documentary that you put together? is an awareness of our natural resources. The wild is trying to make its way with us in the way. That's part of it. And then as the education level advances, that's when you get into the weeds on, okay, what are we gonna do to bring these fish back? Now we know they're there, now we know they're moving. Let's try to tackle this complicated issue of figuring out how to bring back the population. You heard Chris say, of the 3,000 that usually return to the Yankee Fork, only 37 salmon made it back during the summer of 2020, which explains how she couldn't follow and tell the story of just one fish. The odds of that one fish not completing the journey were pretty high. Chris is based in Idaho Falls, where she took that 25 hours of video and in seven months whittled it down to about a 26 minute documentary, which will be shown tonight at the Egyptian Theater in downtown Boise. And Chris will be on hand for the screening. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, Showtime is at seven. <laughs>